Stock Pulse Newsroom, we're talking Golden State Resources today and Peruvian Metals as they finalize an acquisition of the Pantoria Gold Copper Porphyry Project in Peru. Got with me Brian Thurston, the CEO of Golden State Resources, and Jeff Reeder, the president and CEO of Peruvian Metals. Gentlemen, appreciate you taking the time here. Uh, looks like you put a little deal together here, and I know uh, this comes with a lot of history. So, Brian, I'll start with you. I know First Quantum had this back in the day, so obviously something interested you here. So, Brian, I guess we'll start with you there. What appealed to you about Pantry here and why you put the deal together? Yeah, sure. Thanks for having me on. Um, you know, the first thing is I'll tell you a little bit about Gold State. It's a... Uh, pretty much a new company over the last year I joined it and have been uh, working to develop uh, certain properties in it. Uh, we are in Nevada. We have a, a really good new acquisition in, in Nevada for a gold play. Um, but my history has been in South America uh, and specifically with Jeff, the CEO of Peruvian Metals, him and I have worked together since 92, 93. Um, so we have a lot of history together. We've worked in, in many porphyry coppers together in BC in the Yukon and Jeff himself has found a couple through his company, uh, in, in Peru, he's found a couple himself and, and developed them there, created resources. So this, this opportunity came up and, and Jeff and I were talking and, uh, it was a great fit for our company that we could work, uh, both our gold property and our and, and work on a copper property in Peru, where I'm very comfortable. I've worked many years there, um, and uh, with somebody who I know has great experience and I consider a porphyry expert. So, yeah, it just fit really well with our company, and uh, I'm excited to get back down there. I, I actually personally had a a company in Peru that did work for Junior, so I would do all the uh, the work, such as um, you know. Um, doing the field work, doing the uh, corporate work, doing uh, legal and public relations. We did it all. So I'm very comfortable there. And, and Jeff has a really good setup there as well. So I think uh, with him and I working together on this project, I'd like to see this as the next discovery for our poor free careers. Yeah. And uh, Jeff, we'll get to you in a, in a second here, I guess. But uh, Brian, I guess from the, the value perspective, here, let's run through the highlights here. What'd you get here? What, what do you what do you think you got here? And, and how's this thing on, on roll here in 22? Well, as you said, first quantum uh, had a, a small crack at this uh, in the last couple of years. And first quantum is is a, a really great company. They would never pick something up that wasn't a serious play. Um, unfortunately for them, I, I don't understand what they did for their drilling. They drilled essentially where there was drilling previously, and uh, it shows great sign. There's really good uh, uh, copper and gold uh, values that, and, and the rocks themselves certainly show the alteration and the quartz stock work that we are periphery to a porphyry deposit in my mind. So um, I just don't think they drilled in the right place. and. Uh, with the size of the the land package that we have and the expansion that Jeff and I did to the property, um, there is a whole another deposit four and a half kilometers from this, or a, sorry, a, not a deposit necessarily. There's a whole another target four and a half kilometers from this, which is a a really interesting a gold silver litho cap, which we believe is could be the cap of another porphyry deposit that was never drilled by them uh, because it had no copper values and uh, you know they were only after copper but uh, in our minds you know it could be a standalone gold silver play or it could be a, a really interesting porphyry play underneath yeah so uh, Jeff let's uh, shift uh, over to you here and uh um, some of these deals seem to be one-sided. This one seems to be pretty fair. It looks like uh, uh, Brian gets to spend a lot of money in the ground. So let's uh, let, let's talk about how the deal's set up and, and how Peruvian Metals benefits from this as well. Well, when I did the deal with Brian, I wanted to make sure because we're going to be a large shareholder of Gold State. And I really want to have Brian to be able to, the flexibility to go out and raise money um, owning the property 100%. It's so much easier to raise money and finance your company you own the property, knowing that there's balloon payments coming down the road. Um, sometimes I think that's the death of junior companies when you do all this work and then you're caught at the very end there with a big balloon payment and your stock price, uh, you're going to have to loot your stock. I, I didn't want I didn't want to get into that type of deal and, and all my future deals are going to be done in such a way. 
that if we take big share positions of these junior companies, we want to make sure that these companies can focus on, on adding value to the property that we sell them to. So, so it's a, it's a one shot deal of 200,000 cash, uh, 9.2 some million shares in a stock, which is just under 10% of this company with a 1% NSR. Um, that's because in, in, in looking at the valuation of the company, the company's there's about $5 million spent on the property by first quantum, um, and proving metal spent some cash getting it ready to go. Um, I, I believe that, um, this, uh, a large porphyry system needs quite a bit of work. You, um, you need to be looking at the two zones. Brian will need to raise the money, you know, to, to raise, to drill the boat zones. But, you know, um, these are the type of systems that can be world-class systems and knowing the geology and knowing that first quantum saw the overall potential first, that there was conceptually, there's a porphyry system there. The drilling that was done by First Quantum in 217, 218 confirmed that they were probably on the shell on the on the on the peripheral uh, of the large porphyry because there's been long intersections, hundreds of meters of 0.1 to 0.2 copper in the phyllic zone, which is a very which is a pyritic copper depleted but has some copper zone always adjacent to your high grade core zones. One hole was drilled into a classic porphyry stockwork copper zone, and they never followed up on it. So, you know, and and then the other zone that Brian talked about, which is four and a half kilometers to the east of the drilling, that zone, it could be a standalone target as well, but all these targets need to be, there's a lot of juice there, a lot of work has got to be done. First Quantum only drilled um, out of everything about 11 hole or, or 11 holes. In this, in this one small area. So the land package is large. Um, and the motivation behind that part of the deal too is that I want to make sure that if Brian, you know, if we see success in Brian, Brian drills over 20,000 meters of drilling, he's going to be drilling 20,000 meters of drilling because he'll be giving drill success. And that that time he'll make a payment to Peruvian Metals for that side. And if Brian goes in there and we see that the project isn't um isn't um you know what it is um then brian doesn't make those big payments so you know i want to make sure that gold sake can go in there raise the money now money goes into the ground rather than making payments to uh to everybody else and one thing one thing also is that we should note too that um the community relations in uh in the area of pantaria is really very good when first quantum did an excellent job on managing the community relations when they left they left on very good note with the community when they handed off to us, and we've been talking to the community. So they're all we're we're they're all open for us to get back in. Uh, we're just gonna we're just we're just gonna step up where they left off. So this is this is a, gonna be a one of the gonna be a good project in Peru and gonna be a, a high profile project, I believe. Yeah, I guess uh, we'll we'll end here with you, Brian. Uh, if we're uh, if we're all three having a, a cocktail here on New Year's Eve. Uh, How'd the year go for us? Was it a good year for you guys? Yeah, you know, uh, actually, this last year was a regrouping year for for my company. Uh, I just came on a year ago and essentially did some restructuring, uh, new management, uh, new acquisitions, and and this is part of it. the The whole game plan is done now. We've got the uh, we've got our, our our gold properties in Nevada. We've got our copper play in Peru, and we're ready to go. We've got a really good team now in place. As Jeff stated. The deal for us was excellent. Um, it's not a huge amount of money up front, but it's on a, a real significant property that has had some, you know, significant work on it. Great potential. Uh, you know, Peru is uh, number one copper country. I mean, it's 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 great. It's great for us. There's huge potential. We have the team to do it. Part of our due diligence was looking at the community relations part of this. We I sent some people in there. They were very happy with what they saw. The community was very welcoming. Um, and that's always a big deal. So for us, we're, we're super excited. The year was a building year. Here we are at the peak right now, and we're ready to go. 
Okay, guys, we'll uh, certainly appreciate you laying that deal out for us, and we'll look forward to when you hit the wire again here. Again, I got Brian Thurston. He's the president and CEO of Golden State Resources. Golden State trades at GOST, Toronto Venture Exchange, CYNXF in the OTC markets and state. And Jeff Reeder there, president and CEO of Peruvian Metals, PER, Toronto Venture Exchange, DUVNF in the OTC markets in the state. So, again, thanks, guys. Look forward to checking back in when you guys have some updates for us. Thank you very much. Thanks, Rob.